Finally tonight, put yourself in Gavin McDonald's shoes. For years, he's had to watch his twin brother, Jamie, take the boxing world by storm, lifting two world titles. Well, tomorrow night, Gavin gets the chance to show that whatever Jamie can do, he can do as well when he fights for the WBC Super Bantamweight title at the Hull Ice Arena. And according to some, a win for Gavin would eclipse anything achieved by his twin brother. Here's Chris Dawes. <laughs> It's hard enough to tell them apart, and soon the McDonald twins could have even more in common. On Saturday night, Gavin is looking to emulate his twin Jamie and become a world champion. It's my dream. Um, you know what I mean, I've, that's why I've worked so hard all these years, and for it to be here now, um, it's just about going out there now and, 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 and grabbing it. It's for all of us, you know what I mean? It's, we don't just do it, you don't just do it for yourself, you know. You, you, do, it for, you do it for a better life, for your family and, uh, and for everyone who believes in you. Gavin shared in Jamie's success over the years, but this is his chance to shine when he fights Mexican Ray Vargas for the vacant WBC super bantamweight belt. When you see all great footage photos of, of Tyson, Muhammad Ali, of Lennox, of, of all the great fights, Sugar Ray Leonard, you always see them, and they won different belts, but you always see the pictures with their WBC belt. The WBC belt's the best belt out there. So if, if Gavin wins the WBC belt, I was saying, well, you've outdone, you've outdone Jamie. He's up there, he's at that level, but he's not at my level. I'm proud of him, he can say what he wants, you know what I mean, but uh, I don't want to lose to him and he don't want to lose to me, so... We're going to stand our ground and that's why we need to pick up as many belts and achievements as we can because when, when that door finally closes and, and we retire, whoever's got the least, the least belts and the, and, and the least achievements, then they're sitting duck for the rest of our time. You'll still be arguing about it when you're in a retirement home somewhere. Probably. Yeah, Probably, that's yeah. why... That's Probably put gloves back on. Will be a, a sellout fight in old, old men's home. <laughs> PVM finally happening. Now that would be something to behold. The McDonald's might share the same birthday, but will they share the same destiny? Chris Dawkes, ITV News. Wow. So will we be arguing still <laughs> when we're in a retirement home? I think we probably will. Well, you'll be in an old man's home. Yeah, you'll be in an old woman's. <laughs> Thank you, John. Here's Joe. <laughs> British boxing history could be made tomorrow night when Doncaster's Gavin McDonnell fights for the world title. He's taking on Ray Vargas for the vacant WBC Super Bantamweight belt at the Ice Arena in Hull. If he wins, he and his brother Jamie will be the first twins in the country to be world champions. Dave Edwards reports. There was an unexpected free gift for shoppers at Prince's Quay in Hull, a chance to see Gavin McDonnell as he prepares for the most important day of his career. Biggest night of my life, do you know what I mean? And you tend to, to grab it with both fans, do you know what I mean? And, and really make a, a name for myself. In training, he's got the perfect partner. Twin brother Jamie is already the WBA bantamweight champion, and Gavin's more than ready to join him, according to the man in his corner. Some will say Gavin will have the best belt out of the two of them, which is up for debate, but it's a WBC green and gold belt. I think there's a lot of banter that goes off in this gym, in our gym, and it's understandable, the twins, and if they both become world champions, it'll be a massive, massive achievement. Gavin is a former British and European champion, but he faces tough opposition on Saturday in Mexico's Ray Vargas, who's unbeaten in his 28 fights so far. The Mexican is the favourite going into the contest, but Gavin's counting on a vociferous Yorkshire crowd at Hull's Ice Arena tomorrow to help him upset the odds. They can raise a massive ridge. I mean, everybody in that arena is going to be, going to be wanting me to win. They're going to be cheering me. And if they can raise, raise, raise me half a percent, fight some, a won and loss on the slightest of margins, and it could be crucial. It could even be the deciding factor that brings one Doncaster family a second world boxing champion. Dave Edwards, BBC Look North, Hull. Yeah, fingers crossed for him now.